Welcome to Bible Public Service, where ancient text is made young again. It's an honor to have you here today. The mission here is to make your life better and to help make Earth a little bit more like heaven. Today is all about the first day of creation. What did God make on the first day? This is according to Genesis chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. It says the first day God created light. Now when most people think of light, they think of light from the sun as we know it. But we know that this is incorrect because later on in the creation project, on a different day, it says God created the sun and the moon later on. On the first day, the light that he made was very different than the sun or the moon. And it can even be further confusing because it says here that on the first day, he called the light day and he even called the night darkness. But we still think, how can we have day or night unless we have the sun or the moon? So this kind of light that was created had absolutely nothing to do with the sun or the moon as we know it or the stars. None of that existed yet. Remember going back to the earlier verses, it said that the Holy Spirit was hovering over the face of the waters and it was in the darkness. Before the first day of creation, there was darkness. Darkness already existed and God was in that darkness. So we know that God is formless. John 1.18 actually says no one has ever seen God. In his true essence, he exists outside of time and space. He doesn't need light to exist. He doesn't need form to exist. On the first day of creation, he divided himself from that darkness into the first creation substance of light. This is not light from the sun. It's the light of himself, a slightly more dense version of the Holy Spirit that entered him into creation as we know it. This is the transitional point from God in the darkness, from formlessness into a subtle aspect of form. This light is the starting point of form. The light that he created became the subtle building block for all creation to manifest itself thereafter. This light pervades all of creation and is everywhere. It's a substance that we can't see, but it's all pervading. It's the basis and cause for all molecular motion and existence. It's the subtle realm that makes God communication possible. On the first day of creation, God actually separated the light and the dark. In this way, duality was created for the first time. What is duality? It's polar opposites. You have up and down, light and dark, hot and cold, love and hate. And we all know that there are gray areas in between all of those extremes. Like if you have hot and cold water, you have warm or tepid somewhere in between. With duality, relativity is created. It creates possibility to have any possible variation between the extremes of two opposites. Like in politics, we have Democrats and Republicans. Two seemingly opposite points of view, it's all relative. So God created the light and the dark as the starting point of this duality. And this is part of why we have free will. We're given building blocks that create all possibilities for us to choose anywhere from the left to right that we possibly want to. You can adjust the temperature on your water faucet to any exact temperature you want between hot and cold. It's your choice. If you want a hot shower one day, it's your choice because creation has allowed for that variation. Remember the sun and the moon were not created at this point. It was just light and just dark, two opposites, polar extremes. His darkness being a pre-existing state of himself and then manifesting into the light that started the creation. All 
things as we know it come from light. Without light, there is death. Even later on, as we know the sun was created, we know that the main thing that the sun emits is light. And without light, everything dies. But this subtle light that was created on the first day is still the same light that's going through the sun, yet the pre-existing state of that light is very different than the sun as we know it. The sun today is a very dense form that has become visible to our eyes and is actually measurable with our scientific instruments. The light that was created on the first day is not yet able to be measured, but it can be experienced in higher states of meditation. So we know that duality was created on the first day, which opened the doors for the possibility of relativity. Choose your own adventure. The potential for free will was also manifested. Choose your own path. In general, we also know that when we tip too far to the right or too far to the left, we can get burned. When we stay too far on one side of duality all the time, it creates an imbalance over time, which is the root of all suffering. In order to reduce suffering, we can take one step closer to that middle point between the two extremes. It doesn't have to be black or white. If you're not happy, there's always one choice or one small step you can take to move yourself a little bit closer from that extreme point. And only you know what that point is. If we don't want to get burned, it's best to turn off the hot water. Establishing balance is key in the creation project for all of us, even today. Nature is based on cycles and rhythms that are consistently in perfect balance. And if we can follow that in our own lives, we do better and we have less misery. If you'd like to see more videos from this channel, you can click subscribe below. And when the website gets up and running, you can visit BiblePublicService.com. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time. God bless.